Welcome back, folks. Let's get this bad boy wired up. All it's going to take is some connections to the motor itself. We'll do that first, then we'll move over to the tour mop, get the wires run, get the driver installed, and get the driver hooked up. And then we'll test her out, see how she works out. I printed off the sheet from Tormox technical document on the installation of wiring of the fourth axis. And I simply noted that the wires we wired up that'll be going to the driver, A positive, A negative, B positive, B negative. I followed them out and made notes of which ones they are going to my connector that plugs in and goes to the motor. And here's the motor that I purchased and simply noted the A positive, A negative, and we'll hook those up accordingly. So that's all I'm going to do now. I'm going to solder up some wires. Ta-da, now just insulate them. I'm gonna leave them kind of, I'm not gonna finalize this until I know I don't need to rearrange these. Although it would technically be easier to, any, to rearrange them on the stepper driver inside the cabinet. So I, I left myself plenty of wire just so I have options. Because this is all just trial and error right now.
tuned. I've got an IDC breakout board coming, so we can hook it up here. Okay, just take some blue wire, cut it, strip it, and boom. Number it. We've got three, four, five. Pull out your IDC breakout board. These are for attaching to a den rail. Not doing that right now. Depending on your make, depends on how they actually break it out, but in my case, we've got three, four, five. That's how I've got them numbered, matches up here. It's real easy to, I mean, they're not going far, so let's get her in the Tormach. Number three, off the breakout board, goes to pulse positive. That is jumper to direction positive. Number four goes to pulse negative. Number five Number five comes up and goes to direction negative. And we're right back there to where we started. That's just rough. I was just going to see if a 360 degree circle Took it 360 degrees on the scale. Close enough. I just wanted to make sure these settings were correct. Sweet. All right, folks. Hope you've enjoyed this little series on uh, getting a fourth axis wired up to your tow mop. It's been a real simple project. I will be upgrading that motor mount on the fourth axis itself in the near future. So, yeah, follow along. I'll update occasionally whenever I make changes like that. I'm going to get some good cable guarding on there. Get, get, there's a lot of cleaning up left to do. Like I said, we're shooting for 80% here. 80% is functional. That last 20% is making it nice, making it look like you did it on purpose. I went ahead and did that with the electrical because uh, tearing it in and out of the box gets, gets old. So, anyway, hope you enjoyed it. So follow along if you want, got more stuff coming in the future. I enjoy upgrading my machines. I've got a CNC lathe project coming up that I started years ago. I really need to finish it, and by finish it I mean start over. 
Uh, yeah, so follow along. It's going to be fun. Bye. Thanks for following along, guys. We're ready to go. We're excited. Oh, we're so excited.